in this session let us see the concept of snapping that is this active snap mode which we have over here this option can be used to snap at various locations of a drawing of any 2d entity suppose i have a rectangle over here a circle and a line over here now when i'm drawing a line starting at this particular point i can draw this line to various locations that is using this active snap mode option i can snap at any location right now it is going to snap at basically three to four points firstly it will snap to the end points this end point this end point and the midpoint over here even if it's a rectangle like this you'll have this end point over here this midpoint and this end point for all the four edges for circles it will also snap to the quadrant locations and the center but if i want to snap at the tangent it will not snap at the tangent locations it is going to snap at quadrants quarter quadrants over here and the center in order to snap at the tangents or in order to snap somewhere over here suppose i want to draw this line till this line over here i want to place it over here but it is not going to snap at the line itself even if i click it in this way and then zoom in you will notice that it is not going to have or it is not going to lie exactly on that line there is some amount of distance being created over there i will go with fit view even though it looks over here right now in this way but i'll go with zoom area and you can see in the window area it is not lying exactly on that particular line so basically in order to snap at exact locations you can use your button bar i'll click on this option button bar which brings up this snap mode toolbar i can dock it for convenience over here and i can use this in order to snap wherever i want suppose i want to snap over here at this particular point or oh, i'll start at from here to here now when i'm trying to snap it over there i'll use the option called near over here click on near left click and click anywhere on the line it is going to snap at the nearest points nearest points for the lines for the rectangle for the circle it is not going to snap at the end points or the mid points now it is only going to snap at the nearest location click over here and now you have placed it exactly on that line it is not lying on the mid point it is lying on the point, line itself now after placing it over there you will notice that it has automatically come back to the key point snap option this key point snap option is the option which shows us the three uh, snaps that is the end points two end points and one mid point for any line if i want this near option to be permanent i'll double click on this and now it has been turned to gray and now it will only snap to the nearest locations irrespective of the end points and the mid points it will only snap to the nearest locations if i want to choose again key point i'll right click come out of it double click over here on the key points and now it is going to snap only at the key points that is the mid point the end points of lights so in this way you'll be using your button bar over here i'll go with panning it over here and now suppose i want to draw a line which is tangent in this way from here to here to the circle it has to be tangent then i'll choose this tangent option double click on tangent and now it is only going to create tangent lines in this way then right click from here to here at the tangent point automatically it is going to snap and do from here to the tangent location in this way 
this is known as the snap board. In this way, you have various snap options. First one we have seen the near option, then comes the key point option, wherein you will be getting the end points, the midpoints for lines, and for circles, you will be getting the center, as well as you will be getting the quadrant locations and quarter to quadrant. The next one over here is the midpoint snap. Select this, switch this on, double click, and you'll be only getting the midpoints of lines. You won't be getting the end points over here. Even for this rectangle, this edge, you'll be only getting the midpoint, not the end points. In this way, you can draw it. The next option is the center option, which is used for circles, centers. Go over here, select it in this way. So when I'm trying to draw this line from here, I'll switch on this center option, double click on this. And now when I move my cursor towards the circle or the arc, I'll be automatically snapping to the center of that circle or the arc in this way. Even though I have moved my cursor towards the circumference of the circle, it has automatically snapped to the center of the circle. That is your center option. Select it and left click. You'll be getting the point at the center of that particular circle or the arc in this way. Even though I'm clicking on the circumference, it will snap to the center. That is your center option. The next option is the origin option. Right click, I'm starting over here again. And now when I click on the origin option, it is going to snap at the points from where a particular drawing was started. For example, this circle we drew by choosing the center point. And when I move to the circumference, the center point is selected. Whereas if I go towards this line, the start point of this line is termed over here as the origin, the start point of the drawing. Now for this line, we started over here, and that is the reason it is going to snap over there. You can left click over here, and it is going to snap over there. I'll show it again over here with an example. Let me draw this line in this way. Now we started this line at this particular point. And when I'm trying to create another line, it will only snap to the start point. It won't snap to the end point or the midpoints, etc. It will only snap to the start point, which is termed over here as the origin. Right. The next option is the bisector option, which will snap at the bisecting of two lines. Similarly, the next one is intersection. The next one is tangent, and the last one is perpendicular. We'll be seeing as and when required. I'll just select everything and delete it for now. Delete. Right. That is how you will be using the snap mode option. If you click on this option, toggle or accuse snap, it will switch off the snap. That is, it, it is not going to snap now. If I move my cursor towards any of these points, even if I click on the key point option, the key point snap is the option which we generally use. By default, we will be using this option since it has the midpoints, the endpoints, as well as the circle's centers in its domain. That is the reason you'll be using key point snap generally. If required, you can switch to nearest, you can switch to tangent as and when required, or you can switch to any of these as and when required, then come back to your key point snap option. Double click on this and you have permanently selected this. If you single click, you will be selecting it only for once. If you double click, you will be selecting it permanently. Okay. Now, if I, since I have switched this off, I have toggled this Accuse Snap setting off. That is the reason when I click anywhere over here, I won't be snapping at any of the points. Again, I'll switch it on and now I'll be getting these endpoints, midpoints, etc. I'll be getting the snaps basically. So in this way, you will be using your snap mode. You can left click over here or you can right click to get it. And you can use this option, button bar. You can even use it directly from here. I can select the tangent option or the origin option. Suppose I'll select the origin option and now I'll come over here and this was the start point of the rectangle. That is the origin. In this way, you'll be starting off over here. You can use it from this drop down menu as well. But over here, when you click, suppose I'll click over here, draw this line in this way, and create one more line. And now I want to snap to the origin over here, not the key point. 
I want to snap at the origin so I'll go over here select origin and you can see it has changed to origin it will show me the origin not the midpoints or the other endpoints click over here and you place over there and again right now if you want to use it a number of times you can go with shift clicking that is over here using this particular option suppose I go with key point now key point is the default value if I want to change this permanently to suppose origin or center whatever whenever I want to do that earlier when we saw in button bar we were double clicking on that we were double clicking on center snap and this was changed to center snap permanently similarly when you're using this pop-up menu you need to hold down your shift key on the keyboard and left click on whichever option you want to choose you can choose tangent bisector etc I'll select the center option by pressing down my shift button and now the center points will be displayed in this way for the rectangle over here in this way the center has been permanently selected if you want to deselect this again shift button bar sorry shift and key point in this way you'll be changing the setting this button bar can also be brought down by holding down your shift button pressing down your left and right mouse button together in this way you can browse through these options using your keyboard up and down arrow keys and select any of them select bisector enter in this way now you can see over here this icon over here represents the snap mode which is right now turned on that is the snap settings option now using this option how to draw a figure such as this we'll see in the next session i'll stop this session over here